Hello everybody, my name is Shredsex and welcome back to Star Sector everybody. There is an enemy pirate fleet right ahead of us which also happens to be our bounty target. Now this fleet is led than none other than Thanos himself. Now I know what you're thinking, there's an O in front of this man's name but that's clearly a typo. And this is actually Thanos we're fighting right now. Now I gotta say this fleet is probably too much for us to handle right now. Um, these heavy attack cruisers, the Eradicator fast attack cruiser, is probably as powerful as my entire fleet if we all attacked at the same time. Let alone if it's in a massive fleet by itself. It's pretty terrifying. But we're going to go and engage. I'm going to just go in by myself because I'm going to try and kite and kill as many enemies as humanly possible. Just because I can. <laughs> and then depending on how it goes, we may pull back to save ourselves some losses. And uh, just get some free experience really. It's, ooh, I love these ships. Oh, this strike is way too fast, by the way. Look how fast it is. <laughs> Stay back, sir. Stay back. Do you reckon I can kill this before a strike gets me? The answer is yes. Okay, so we're going to kind of cut around the edge anyway. As long as that strike stays away, we should be pretty much free to do what we want. But of course, we've got to be a little bit careful with the attack. Ooh, a hound. I didn't even see that. I love my ship deploying the guns. It's so awesome. Probably want to get some better um, auto aiming there, but when we get some better skills, that'll go up in uh, accuracy and stuff. Like how that missile is freaking out over there. I gotta be careful as well because the actual fast attack cruisers can easily catch me as well if I'm not careful. It only takes a few seconds for it to be in range, and I'm dead. My ship is not exactly that tanky. Excellent. We had to get that buffalo. There's no way I'm going to leave this battlefield without killing that buffalo. So uh, this is what I was kind of on about earlier. So first off, the strike's a big problem for me and all my other ships because it actually outspeeds us all. And also, this attack cruiser has look at all those weapons. How many does it have? I have no idea. But it's got probably like 10 plus weapons on it. <laughs> it's a bit ridiculous. It is definitely a pirate ship because uh, who else would be so crazy? Why, hi, buffalo. I love a buffalo. It's like, I think buffalo is probably the weakest ship in the game. Let me know if you think it is the weakest ship because it has like no armor, <laughs> no shields, and hardly any weapons. It's pretty easy to take care of. Let's back up again. The shepherd's not that great either, but at least the shepherd can like distract enemies with their um, weapons and stuff there. Is that a wolf? This might be where we want to pull back because the enemy's kind of like clumped up in a big fleet at the moment. And if they got a wolf, they I've got two fast ships chasing me now, so just one. Yeah, I thought we should probably get out of here. Now you can pretty much escape from every battle if you want to, because you have a ooh, the shepherd over there. Because you have the ability to use story points to do like a disengage. Uh, so normally I would have to do a battle where I would have to fight to escape this location. Uh, and they would chase me. Now, as the enemy is so fast, when I say chase me, it would actually be more like they kill me. Nah, that's too far away. I'm out of here. Good luck out there, enemy. I'll get you next time, Thanos. It's like the Avengers. We'll come back. <laughs> we'll take him out another day, everybody. He wins this round. He'll snap his fingers. And we'll come and get him later. Yeah, so, um... Of course, if I do a retreating battle, my cruiser will die. And so will my second destroyer. And maybe my third destroyer, as not destroyer, sorry, my frigates, because I don't think they're fast enough to escape this strike, which has a buff from its leader. Let's get out of here. But it's okay. We just uh, had to be a little bit more careful with the bounties we picked, because I was just going based off money. I should have actually looked at what it was using, because anything else we probably could have killed, but not those ships. Uh, retreat, yes. But what we had to try and do as well, let's try and recruit ourselves some better, um, like, stockier ships that can actually fight these big ones because my frigate is very very good at fighting but it just flat out does not have the dps required to kill those big ships unfortunately run away but like i said at least i got some free experience though and we're nearly level four so where is the oh there's some stuff going on over there let's be careful with that do a quick save. I like how every time you save, all these stats like fly around like crazy. It's pretty random. 
Uh, let's go towards this location here. There may even be some pirates we can fight here, actually. Okay, let's head over to the nearby... Oh, the pirate base is right here. Do you reckon there's anyone here we can fight? Ooh. There's definitely something here. Is that a... It's a merchant. Why, hello there. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's destroy the enemy, everybody. So, I love King Merchants because I am actually a pirate, but I'm this not actually playing as one. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let's get everyone going forward. This is going to be pretty awesome. I don't think the enemy had anything really to worry about. They did have this guy, but he's not really dangerous. It's just the bigger ship they have. Go, my little friends. I could just try to cut the shit up with the sword, but he just completely missed. Ooh, look at this big cannon. We haven't seen this work yet, have we? Oh, that's awesome. It's like a big siege weapon. I, I love it, I love it. Let's back up a little bit. We probably have to let my... I like how my other frigate is just killing everybody. <laughs> In the top left, you can see it just killing the enemy ships. Yeah, I gotta say this ship needs to be faster. Well, I think it's more like a it's more like a um, standoff ship, really. It's not very fast, but it has got some good firepower if it fires. Oh, it needs some more accuracy though. It's not doing a great job there. I, I like how I'm watching the battle instead of fighting my own button. <laughs> I should probably focus on what I'm doing. There you go. Beautiful. Enemy down. Perfect. Okay, so what we're probably going to do is I'll probably auto-resolve the chasing bit. Let's pursue them. Auto-resolve. We'll just let them do their own thing. Wow! They got nearly all of them! One man escaped, though. The buffalo's getting the hell out of there, everybody. Okay, so we've got some pretty good money from that. We'll take all that. Oh, let's not spend too much. Level up. Perfect. I'll definitely take that. One point. So what I'm probably going to do, I'm probably going to go for gunnery implants because it's going to make my ship a lot better at shooting uh, with point defense and its main guns. And also I have more range. It just seems pretty handy if you ask me. Uh, so we'll take that. Oh, sure. I'll just, I'll just as well make it elite because I got so many story points. Is there a limit on making stuff elite? I don't think there was. I'll go for it anyway. If I can make all my skills elite, I will. <laughs> Done. Oh, that one guy. We could probably finish him off, actually. You got... How? How is he not dead? Okay, look. One more time. There you go. We got him in the end. I don't know how that guy got away with that last battle. It's like, oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Done. The poor pirates, everybody. The poor, poor pirates. Oh, I got money from that. Ooh. Okay, let's head over to the nearby base, though, because we can get some more supplies and whatnot. Um, let's see. Oh, that's a cool looking... Look at that battle station. It looks awesome. Oh, well, you can't really see it properly, but still. Oh, that, that's a bit of random music. Set up that. Yes, 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 yes. Done. Any cool upgrades? Maximum burn level two. Yes, I need that. Uh, anything else? No, not really. Okay, so let's get ourselves some more uh, crew, more fuel, and I think we should head back to where we normally live. Done. So if I just grab back quickly, what ship is slow? Is it the cruiser? Yes. But we'll leave it alone. It's fine. Okay. When we get some bigger ships, we can apply the uh, field there so we can go even faster. So let's head back towards civilization, shall we? When I say civilization, I mean my civilization. Hello? Hi. Oh, I missed it. As we are so leveled, low level, just killing random pirates is going to help us out loads. At least until we get to the point where they're not really worth the XP anymore. I'm just going to kill all the ones we possibly can. See, we would have been doing this earlier in regular systems, but because, unfortunately, in the, my home system where my faction spawned, the... Oh, wrong one. The fleets... Uh, the pirate base spawned next to a military base, so it was just wiped out all the time. 
Japanese normally have children areas? Not sure. You can see how accurate now my um, guns are though. They're always hitting their target like right in the middle. The point defense as well is going to be better. Wait, what, what, what gun is that? I don't, I don't remember giving them those. Oh, that was a bit close. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I sometimes have a habit of watching other battles. So I was watching my ally ship fight instead of me. <laughs> oh, damn it. I keep forgetting I'm actually flying a ship. Okay, I think that was that. Are they dead? Yes. Very nice. And it looks like now Alisa has leveled up as well. Okay, let's have a quick look at her stats then. What she got then? Gunnery implants, yes. Beautiful. We're both awesome. I'll take it. So I will also, we won't equip her now. We'll probably do it a bit later, but I need to give her some point defense and maybe we'll give her like a salamander or something. She can just keep shooting out to distract enemies. I think it'll be pretty handy. We'll look into that a bit later. I don't want a salamander. Um, so I'd rather have more like firepower and stuff, but that's up to me. Anyway, let's head back towards our little homeland, shall we? Ooh. Not big enough these battles. Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. Okay. So I pretty much know the way back anyway. This is this way. Let's fly back down there. After that as well, if we get some more pirate kills and stuff, uh, and we get some better I think we need some more ships that are actually useful when like chasing down enemies. So I currently we've only got the ship I'm using and its sister ship. But I think we need like a fast destroyer or like some kind of cat long range carrier that can just hunt down enemies as we go around. Oh, wrong way. Like I said, I know where I'm going. Immediately go the wrong way. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, what's this? Father Dominion. That's our alliance name, by the way. Makes peace with the Reuters. Very nice. So who are we at war with now, then? Who are we at war with? Oh, there's three alliances. The Father Dominion, which is us and Spindle. The Dragon Alliance, which is Das, Altmiken, and Hegemi. And Far Reach Confederacy, which is these two people. How do I tell you what war with? It was this way, right? So we're still at war with one alliance, Loot Path and Pirates. Okay, let's have a look. There's actually I actually had to reload the I actually had to read the video everybody, because I originally got back to this world and I spent 25 minutes looking at different ship designs. So I had to no, it was. I can't have a video of me just looking at ship designs. <laughs> I was way too distracted by my. I was like, "Oh, look at this weapon! Wow, look at this one!" It was a. It was a horrible situation. Uh, I was having a great time, but probably not great for a video. So let's see. So, is this the right place with all the really big ones? It's not. I think Worm has some amazing stuff. Go over this way. Yeah, because I also need to try and change the design a little bit of my, my cruiser because I was kind of equipping it like it was a carrier, but it's not really. It's like a standoff, well, cruiser. So if we just go back into the ship designer, is this the right one? Yes, okay. I tried all these, by the way. They're awesome. Um, oh, can we... I don't want to spend too much time just going through ship designs and weapons, but I love the weapons in this game. They're absolutely amazing. This is the um, Unlan Siege Laser. Which is really weird because it's not really a laser at all. I'm just going to fire it so people can see what it does. It does this. It's more like an energy blaster really, which is pretty interesting. i got to say the big guns are all really awesome most of the time. This is like a quad Gatling gun, you can probably imagine. We're going to settle though, I think, for this Hell Hexfire cannon. Actually, have I used this before? Let me just... I can't go down the trap again. Nah, it's a shotgun. No, thank you. We'll keep with this. It seemed pretty generally handy, but we need to find something else that can actually take out enemy shields. Um, support weapon. No. Let's go for a Gravlak anti shield. This is also anti shield, right? Yes. Range 650. 
I need something with better range. EMP system. Oh, it's some kind of beam array. EMP arcs. Hits on shields while at high, uh, sorry, high hard flux or on a hole have 25% chance to arc to weapons. That could be very, very powerful. But of course, it's not going to be great against enemy shields, but maybe this is a good thing to use. So the problem with this gun is it's just too low range, really. I want something that has the same range as my other we weapons. Screw it. Let's go for this fella. We're going to have to figure out how good these are in combat because I'm not going to go through the simulator. <laughs> okay, also I did mention that I was going to change around these guys because this is like a, a ship you can send out. But as this is like a kind of like a standoff cruiser, we want to have a weapon that can actually defend itself. So I'm going to go for these Wanzas here. Is there snipers? No, let's go for these guys. These only have a range of a thousand, but they're very tough, I think. So we have those guys instead, and this should be a pretty well defended ship, I would say. IBS, IBS. Are there more IBSs? There are. I need loads of IBSs. That's the point of defense, by the way. <laughs> so I'm confused why I keep saying IBS. So apart from that, I think we are good to go. Let's just add in that, and I think we are done here. Make sure that's done as well. Perfect. Okay, I'm happy with the cruiser. These guys, we need more point defense. Or I say more, I mean we need point defense in general, because I don't think we've got any at all. Um, oh, we actually have some with us. Let's go for two of these. And if I can, I don't think we got one. I would love to put a salamander at the front or something, just so it has like some kind of annoying missile it can shoot at people. But like I said, I don't think we actually have, unfortunately, any salamanders around we can use. So it is what it is. Okay, let's re let's keep that. Let's get rid of this. We will equip a auxiliary thruster. I'm gonna leave that for now. Done. Okay, sorted. I'm happy with that. As for actual ships, though, is there anything here we can get that might help us out a little bit? Or well, not really. What is this? Pocket Gus. CBT carrier. It's a carrier variant. Interesting. So apparently, uh, ooh, I don't know. Tomb control of things. Fight obey. It's faster. We'll keep an eye on these. If we can get a few of these, it might be our, our, our rapid response carrier kind of thing. Okay, apart from that, I'm not seeing much else I might want to buy at the moment. Uh, so I do want to try and go for ships that are fast, at least for now. 85, speed 90. Look at cool. Let's try, let's, try, let's, let's try this guy out. Oh, I can't afford it. I can buy the ship whole, but I won't be able to afford much with it. So we'll leave that for now. Oh. <gasps> A dreadnought. <laughs> That's amazing. There are some cool ships in this game, everybody. That's all we can really say there. Um, damn. Let's not spend too much time here. Q ship. What's a Q ship? Oh, it's a pirate version. Interesting. But we'll leave that alone. Top speed 40. That's really, really slow. I'm leaving the menu, everybody. It's okay. We can carry on our lives now. I won't spend too long just looking at random stuff in the menus. Okay, so we know we're all quite a few nations here. Should we see if we can go and, like, hunt down some enemy locations and stuff? Uh, not bounties. We'll try and actually take out some of the enemy faction stuff. So let's get loads and loads of stuff like that. Go to the main map. need to find a place which is as neutral or allied units and also end like this one. Let's go over there. I just think it's funny that I've got to be careful when I record this game because I might just spend the whole video doing nothing though. So it's the risk we play everybody, it's the risk we have. 
Okay, so we know there's an enemy location around here. That looks terrifying, whatever that is. This is a military base. Maybe we should go somewhere without military. Uh, let's see. Like here. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I, I agree with my idea, everybody. Going into the military location is probably not the best right now. We're a bit too weak for that. So apparently there's a enemy civilian station around here we can maybe try and mess with. Gonna have a quick look. Also, I really should activate these gates, shouldn't I? I keep forgetting about that. Uh, where do we activate the gates? Where is the gate? Oh, it's over there. Miles away. There's not... We have to wait for Iverson merchants to show up, but I don't think it's got any defense of its own. Are they going to kill... Wait, engaging customs? That's a merchant fleet, though, isn't it? What is, go what is going on? <laughs> Do you know what? Let's help. We're coming in, buddy. We're coming in. We can get some shared glory for taking down this enemy station. And probably some salvage. Oh, look at those new uh, mechs. They look pretty awesome. Wow, that's a uh, lot of stuff happening over here. Yeah, oh, we're already on the good side anyway. Why are you at... Dude, attack the, uh... We just don't want to face the slow... Look at all those guns! <laughs> oh my god, there's a lot of guns over there. I don't think I can do this by myself. I don't think i got enough firepower. Definitely these ships as well. What kind of ship is this? Their ship designs are so strange. Ooh, look at their little fighters though. They're pretty cool. They've got beams. Oh, that looked bad, whatever that was. I seem obsessed with destroying this random armor pillar for some reason. Okay, the shields are about to go down on this hangar bay here. Oh, they got me! Oh, they got me first. Wow, this thing is going down. <laughs> Look at that station being destroyed. all this firepower. Where is my ship in range at all by the way? Oh it's miles away. I only wanted to see it like shooting its big gun and stuff. This is where you really need some get get some um, bombers and stuff because it'd be a lot easier. This is a tough station though. Isn't it? Oh there it is. Yeah get him man get him Oh this game is so awesome. Oh big death shooting Cruiser. How oh, is this thing not dead, everybody? It's still fighting back. It's nearly killed that ship over there. We're going to get some good salvage from this, everybody. Fire! Oh, is it dead? I think that se section is damaged. I can't believe this thing's not dead yet. to go around the back, I think. Wow, this station's badass. This is where that EMP would be really helpful. Um, where should we don't we have the EMP? We have to wait for it to come back around. It's still thrashing around trying to stop these enemies here. This ship is huge, but if it does get hit like once, it's going to blow up.
Okay. Oh, oh, perfect timing. Go, my ship. Blow it up. Oh, what have these guys got then? Tombstone handguns. Have they got like dual handgun? They got giant space revolvers, everybody. That ship is way too close. That's touching it right now. And also, you can see, seeing it says it's like turning off on all these weapons. That's because. <laughs> That's because my um, EMP lasers, I think, doing a lot of damage against it there. It's going down. It's going down. Prepare your eyes. Nice. That was awesome. There's no other way about that. That was just awesome, everybody. Um, okay. Enemy has been destroyed. We only made 350 credits there, but do you know what? I had a great time. It was worth my time there. We got some bounties from two different factions there. Enemy at the gate. Notable reputation change. Oh, I got my fast turret gyros and EMP resistance. Most useless traits you could possibly get. Okay, let's do a little uh, let's do a little scavenge, shall we? Ooh. Not really worth it, but it's fine. Um mosaic class torpedo. What on earth is that? So I think what's going to be happening now is they're going to be invading this location. Um, maybe. Invade, yeah. It still works how I thought it works. I need, problem is I can't really invade myself because I'm going to need a lot of marines. Um, which I currently have no marines, so we need to get a lot of stuff there. So it's got, they got 408 militia, 144 marines and 120 heavy units. I don't know what that means, heavy units like the good. Or... I like something else, but I'm not sure. Interesting. So I don't think this fleet has troop capacity, does it? Also, that was a merchant convoy. Why was the merchants attacking everybody? Wait. One of their destroyers is just floating around. Can I pass up using this ship? It looks pretty cool. No, no, we can't. We're playing as the, we're playing as the cool. We're playing as the race that has mechs, everybody. We can't just go use random ships. What am I even thinking about? Let's get out of it. What is in here anyway? That's oh, just random stuff. Cool. Let's head out. We need to find a place where I can actually fight and not just do nothing, everybody. That's the main thing there. Uh, if I go to factions, no, not factions. Sector. That's more like it. Loot it. Path military. Uh, let's have a look around. These be more pirates. To be fair, we can also probably go to one of those pirate uh, bases up here somewhere, and we could probably just try and kill the pirate. Like the, without killing the base, just kill the pirates themselves, get more experience. Uh, let me just have a quick look on the intel screen. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons here. Give me a second, everybody. Intel bounties. Oh. Apparently they're having a lot of issues with oh with the Imperium. Never mind. These missions everywhere. There's also a bounty over there we can probably get. I was over looking around here, like this guy has an attack cruiser, so we probably won't be able to win that. And whatever this is, some kind of star destroyer. Uh, oh, that's an easy one to do. We'll do these two. We'll go for this guy. We'll go for Whitney. Then we'll head over to uh, Casey. So where are you, sir? Where are you? Uh, binary star system. And there's only one of those, so easy. Wait, what was that? Was that a hedge... Oh, uh, was that a trade fleet or something? I think there might have been a fleet, but I think the other faction may have killed it with that second fleet uh, that was below the screen there. Okay, let's head over this way. I still feel really bad. I spent so much time oogling random ships and stuff. <laughs> oogling. Oogling? Oogling. That sounds more like it. Let's go this way. 
try and get past all these random things here. It's pretty cool that I got weird revolver mechs. So I wasn't really expecting them to have giant mechs the size of frigates that have giant revolvers. It seems a bit crazy to me. Uh, Nader class heavy frigate. What is this? I don't think I've seen this before. We will salvage it. Not as good as my, uh, what was it? The bounty hunter one I did? I found like three, what was it? Three battle carriers in like two hours. <laughs> it's everywhere. That must be a scavenger. Is this the place we got to go into? Oh, there's two binary star systems. Oh wait, where was it again? It was next to a desert world. Okay, which is right there, I think. Oh, let me just save just in case I die horribly here. That guy is coming for me. Oh no, 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 oh no. Run away, I'm leaving. Oh, no, no, no. They're distracted, it's fine. Okay, so there's a desert world miles away. Oh, look how pretty this is. It's a very pretty game. So the only ship here I would say we got a problem with was the, the destroyer. The one, I can't remember what it's called. I think it was called an enforcer. They are here, right? I, I think he's over there. Oh, that's just something else. Maybe he's not here. There is another desert world, though. Ooh. Oh, I probably shouldn't do that. Okay, please be here. Please. Yes. This guy is tiny. Oh, well, the other one was bigger, wasn't it? This is a little baby one. Europa fleet. Um, I don't think we need to do much here to win. I think we can just go in. <laughs> it should be pretty easy. Uh, let's deploy all our frigates and we should be able to win this in no time. But it's Netro 50k, I think, and some more experience, so it's better than nothing. What? What's that? Ooh! What was that? <laughs> it looked, whatever, they, I think they shot a sun at me or something. They're just firing suns at people, terrible manners. I presume, even though the ship looks pretty big, because it's a frigate, uh, sorry, a freighter, it should be pretty chill to take it out. That's a cool missiles. Our point defense now is so powerful. Actually having trouble killing that. Okay, let's back up, let's back up. They're pretty stubborn these, uh, what, what are these ones called? Cerebus. And it. Perfect. Okay, looks like my other guys are wrapped up as well, so we're just going to be taking out the enemy main ship now. And then we've got this bounty in the bag. I was surprised it's taking this long to be honest. I think we would have been a bit quicker than this, but... Oh, there we go. My, uh, my captain there seems very cautious. I think she's steady though, so she should be... <laughs> Just fly directly in front of your ally, it's fine. It's a glory seeker. Oh, the missiles though, very nice. Excellent. Okay, on to the next one. Hopefully we've leveled up from this. Or something close to leveling up. Uh, no. <laughs> How far? We're, we're getting there, we're getting there. We're close. Okay, so that's that one dead. If we go... To here? Yes. Uh, they are apparently around an orange primary star, which is going to be this guy right here. Now, oh, this may actually be a combined one. 
where oh it also be here Let's try this one first, just in case. So if it is this one, it means it might actually be in the same system as the pirate base. So at least there'd be a lot of targets to fight, but maybe a little bit dangerous. Anybody else leveled up in here? No. Also, do you reckon there's anything interesting to grab around here? There is a few things. There's something by the sun. Let's have a quick look at Gander. Oh, it's a debris field. I never get much from these. Always a bit of potato. Oh, okay. Uh, let's move on then. Fair enough. I wonder if that fleet's still hanging around. That chased me in here. The giant ludic path one. Surface battle. So those of invasions and like wars going on and like raids and stuff is all over the place. Is that them? That might have been them. Let's back up anyway. Oh, where was this place actually meant to be at? Barren World, okay. Hopefully this will be fine. And after that, I think we've got enough money to actually get enough ships that we can actually just not worry about bounties again. We can just try and actually be a part of the Navy and actually try and start taking over the galaxy. It might be here. It is here. Well, I was lucky then. If I went to the other place, it would have sucked. So like I said, the only thing we've got to be careful of is that Enforcer there. But I'm pretty sure with our new build, with our light cruiser here, we should be able to kill that. It should be fine. Uh, let's just start. To, what is this ship anyway? Oh, it's an elite destroyer. Oh, I don't know what this is. It's a pirate ship. 56 speed. Pretty slow. Interesting. Let's just test the waters. I don't know what this ship is, so I might. it might be absolutely devastating. There's the enforcer. It looks like it's... It doesn't look that dangerous to me. Maybe my famous last words, though. Oh, that was a lot of, a lot of missiles. They shoot me there. Oh, there's no way my point defense can even take that missile on. Really, it's pretty cool though. It shoots like a big one. It just splits up. Is that the same one? Yes. Yeah, I'm not happy about deploying my ships with those missiles around. I can't imagine that. It only has two weapons. Ah, so it has um, an anti-shield weapon and that's whatever this is, the hurricane. Okay, I think we should be okay. We'll go for these guys first, the ones that are weaker. Let's just see if we can grab them on a kite or something. Can I even outrun these? Oh, wait, can they not track you? Oh, you just move out of the way of them. Yeah, that's, that's fine. You just move out of the way. <laughs> the uh, danger of those missiles is drastically reduced. Okay, let's try it. Hopefully they don't get overwhelmed here, but we'll see what happens. A lot of these pirates actually have officers, which is quite interesting. I need to get some more myself. Oh, I'm being flanked by something. It's a bit close. The problem with these new weapons is I have absolutely no idea how powerful they are if they hit you, so I've got to be very cautious. Wait, why, why'd you fire your missiles, friend? you got to mind out, your shields are not going to be able to handle that. What is this? Camel. 
You are not meant to be doing this, friend. You should back up and defend that ship. What we'll do, we have a heavy escort on this, actually. So they should both be assigned to defend it, and they can keep it falling together. Oh, look at that damage! Look at those handguns! This is so... <gasps> what is it firing? So I gotta stop being such a fanboy, I do apologize. Um, the pretty lights is amazing. I am actually a part magpie. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big problem. In the moment of truth, can my cruiser take on this? It's coming in. What an idiot. I got EMP. It just turned off half its weapons. It's got a lot of armor though. If we can just get rid of its armor, this should be... Oh. Oh no, 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 no. Whoa. Pretty much turn that shit off, uh, ship off, which is pretty awesome. The damage of this main gun is really powerful. I come to ignoring this random guy down here. <laughs> He's like, oh, I don't care about this guy. Okay, the light cruiser can kill and enforce it by itself. Very nice. Barking fruit. This ship is growing on me, everybody. I feel like it's a pretty awesome ship. Oh, most of me retreated. Interesting. Well, that is another bounty in the bag. We oh, we got some cool stuff here though. Oh, we got the thing, the hurricane. Is this a base game weapon? I think it is actually. It doesn't seem to be attached to any of the mods. It just seems I apparently don't see it very often. Okay, so we'll take all this. Another reputation changed. Oh! The Hussar. Rugged. And well insulated. It's really good at the energy builds right now. Hell integrity per lasting damage. Interesting. I'm sure that actually is, to be honest. And I have leveled up once again. This is pretty good for getting the old levels, i got to say. So, I can actually get a second tier... Uh, I can actually get a second tier of the technology tree, which is always a, also pretty handy as well. I'm... Uh, what do we go for, everybody? What do we go for? Might seem a bit weird, but I'm going to go for... Um, either this one? Or this one. Just so we can carry more stuff around. And it also increases the burn of all more militarized uh, ships by two, which is also pretty handy. I feel like we're pretty powerful in terms of the fighting department. But also, the ECM package is also very useful as well. <laughs> ah, there's too much stuff we can pick, everybody. My, my brain can't handle it. Do you know? Wait, wait, wait. Let's go for all rounder. I'll go for this one. Crew training. All combat ships. Including carriers and military, uh, militarized civilian ships gain 15 combat readiness. This will mean that all my ships are just slightly better than everybody else's ships. It'd be fine. And I think after that we go for the cargo capacity, repairs, and I feel like we'll, we'll go from after that. We'll check again afterwards. Done. Okay, and we definitely have enough money now to get something big. I think something big, big. Probably not a Dreadnought, but something that's going to be able to do some good old damage here. Ooh. Don't know. Oh, that's a proper uh, scavenging fleet there. It's not pirate, because you can tell from the ships in it, but it might still attack you. Luckily, it didn't attack us. <laughs> oh, we would have been dead already. 
Is that a pirate fleet just sitting there? Yeah, because after we get some big ships, we can actually start fighting like big enemy fleets. We can actually start trying to help take over the galaxy, which is going to be really fun. And that is literally the point of this entire series, to take over the galaxy, so... I think I've already been paid for my bounties, but... Star Raid, Sky Nation. Oh! More bounties have been found. Oh, it's a drug dealer. I don't care about that. I won't deal with petty stuff. Is this the Prism uh, Freeport? Prism Freeport. Yeah, this is, uh, this is like a really cool station I've added into the game on this mod set where you can actually see every... Like, it's got all the really expensive stuff. So you go into here, Iron Cellar, you can see all the big ships. It's pretty awesome. You can see they got like that King Cruiser we saw earlier. We got some Conquest class battle cruisers which cost a million pound each. Whatever this is, <laughs> a big ship, whatever this is. What on earth are these? A light carrier, ooh. And it's got one of my ships in there as well. There's a lot of options here. And it's not only that as well, you've also got all the um, high-end weapons as well. If I go to like, uh, say this, there's loads of stuff we can get. Actually, I say that, it's not that great really. Oh no, there is some really expensive ones though. Is there IBSs here? Because I need more IBSs. Nope, there's not. Well, never mind. Well, I'll just show that off before we move on though. Is there a gate here? There is. We should get these gates unlocked, everybody. I keep forgetting about it. I can fast travel across the map if I get gates unlocked. I have the ability to do so. The lost gate. Travel through gates. I think this is the only gate I've actually unlocked, so we can't... I'm pretty sure there was a gate in our main system, so I will grab it and we can start teleporting across the map, because I've always had to spend a lot of time travelling. Uh, do I have enough resources to get over there? I do. Okay. Maybe a bit closer. What is this? Oh, they got whoever that was. They just got absolutely wrecked by uh, that patrol there. Okay, we're back home. Did I pick up that prisoner? I did. Very nice. I think I keep giving the prisoners over to my own faction because I don't actually have enough relations to get the bigger ships yet. I don't think so. What is this? Oh, another peace thing. Fair enough. We got more money. I think this is actually going up. The commission is going up because of our rank, I think, which is pretty cool. Wait. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Does that just say I got... Wait, wait, how do I find that again? I don't know. No, that's not it. Did it say I had a... I swear it said... That I had a planet or something. Oh, there you go. Unassigned. Oh, I've just got a random administrator. I must have started the game with that. Interesting. Now, I'm pretty sure as part of the next written mod, you can actually ask for a governorship of a location. So we might do that at some point as well. So we can have a little colony of our own. Okay, so we made it back here. Uh, first off, let me just double check something. If I... I can buy the big ships by the looks of it. It's fair enough. Oh, that's so awesome. Sixty speed. Oh, it's one of those gusts. Should we get one of these? How fast? Is, how fast is this ship? Sixty-five. It's a faster version, but it still only has a single single fighter bay there. Ah, we'll leave it for now. I want to get a destroyer. Let's go for this one. Hail class destroyer hole. It's kind of looks like this, but it's like a smaller version of it. Or do we want to, should we just get this? Let's get this. <laughs> this looks fun. I'm gonna let's get one of these. There's also a battle carry we can get as well though. Oh, there's too many options there, everybody. We'll get one of these though. Okay. 
Oh, look at all these guns. This is a deadly weapon. I can tell this is a deadly ship right, right from right from the start. Uh, let's get loads of IBS if we can. Oh, there's six. Very nice. That should actually be enough for the whole thing. So, cover all those. I guess we can have some kind of like generalized weapon at the front, maybe. Support. Hmm. What would, what would be a good thing to have here? Let's quit, let's, let's quit the reset first, actually. Anti hole, anti shield. So, anti shields. 650 range is what we're going to try and go for. 600. That works out great. We have two anti shield and two anti armor. I'll definitely take that. Do any of these have EMP? Oh, these do. Okay, we'll put EMP on the front there. And we have an additional... Where do we want to put the back? Oh, yes. This, this is double up on the back. Point defense. Actually, maybe anti-small. Yeah, let's go for that. It can have like a dedicated back-end anti-fighter bomber defense at the back. And these can just be point defense. So we've got loads of room left still. Uh, let's go for some medium missiles. Anti-armor finisher. Ooh, fitted with electromagnetic launch rails and a high-speed rotary autoloader. That sounds amazing. Go for that. Is that a point defense missile? Oh, that's so awesome. They're Thunderbolts, right? Yeah. Uh, let's go. Should we just try some of these point defense missiles? I, I'm kind of curious to see how they work. This is an awesome looking ship, though. Can it fight, though? That's the question, everybody. Can it actually do anything in combat? Let's throw it against... Let's, let's be safe here. Let's just throw it against one of these... Um, what are they called again? Mules? I think it was Mule. I can't even see it. There it is. Mule. It's definitely going to win, but just in case it doesn't. Uh, auto pilots. Nope. Wait, wait. How do I do auto pilot again? <laughs> you! Oh. Oh. I'm not going to be piloting this, by the way. Uh, that's why I'm trying to see if the AI works. Interesting. It doesn't seem too dangerous at the moment, but we'll give it a few seconds. But bear in mind, it's it's taking a while to kill this ship here, but it hasn't taken any damage. Its shields are not even close to being uh, a problem there. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, let's try it with... This is, a, this is another one of like those stand... It needs some kind of like support, I think, to defend it. Finish off, bro. Finish off. Hmm. Okay, maybe let's uh, think about this a little bit more then. Anti hole. Hmm, this doesn't seem that good, this gun. Damage, 200 a second. Damage, 800. Screw it. I'm putting this thing on. This is why it's going to test weapons, because you don't know what they're going to be like. Let's try again. I will leave it after this, I think, because I wasn't going to spend the whole episode looking at random ship designs again. And I'm so sorry, everybody. <laughs> I have a big problem when it comes to ship designs. I can't help myself. Ooh, is that the anti hole? The 
she using that instead of the anti um I don't think it can keep up with the enemy at all. Oh it is it's doing a better job though. Oh very nice. Okay, uh, this, this is a lot better. I think this is a lot better. Done. I'm happy with that. I'll take it. Uh, we probably need some more crew, I would imagine, because that's probably quite a big ship. And we have 100 grand left. Let's also grab a... Should we get another carrier? I, I want to try one of these, the Pocket, pocket Gust. Raven. Have we tried this one before? It looks absolutely huge. Um, yes. <laughs> it goes 4,000 uh, range as well, which is pretty handy. Let's grab that. Let's grab a... I would say anti-shield if we can find one. This is meant to keep enemies away from it, really. I am also I am only trying to use my own faction's weapons, which is why we're a bit limited, really. Uh, let's go for this one now. We'll go for the swim cannon. IBS. Oh, it's got its own missile launchers. Interesting. Cool. And this one actually comes with a proper gantry as well. This one didn't come with it at all. Oh, sorry, it did come with one. Never mind. It does seem this is just this waste. This is literally just a tiny version of this. Uh, but it's a bit faster. So anyway, we'll give that a go a bit later. Let's go out as well. We have a little bit of money left. Let's just sell the stuff we've got left over. Get some more crew again. And I think we're done here. Cool. Well, everybody. I think that's going to be for today's episode. I, uh, I'm i sorry. I spent way too much time looking at ship designs. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Do you mind if I just play this way? If I just literally play the game as if I was playing it myself? Because I would spend a lot of time looking at ship designs otherwise. So I'll try and keep it down as much as possible. Uh, if not, if you want me just to go around and do combat and stuff, I can do that as well. It's fine. But now we have a lot bigger of a fleet though. I, I think it would be a lot safer to say we can actually start doing some more impactful things in the game. So hopefully we can start trying to go for... Um, some of these combat situations, which I think might be nearby somewhere. Ludic Path. We'll just see what happens. We're just we're trying to get some combat going if we can. There's also as well, I think I can actually, it's actually a feature where you can actually say to a military base. Let's have a quick look. Um, special functions, request a fleet, invasion. You can literally ask the AI to attack stuff for money. So we can actually implement a attack, we can go and back up the attack, and we can try and expand our little stuff from there. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's have a look. So for instance, I can probably say to it, take out the pirate base, and it will go and kill the pirate base. Yeah, there's also something we can do here. Actually, can we take out the pirate base? We'll try next episode. We'll see if we can take out the pirates ourselves and move from there. But apart from that, everybody, uh, thank you for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.